Well, 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 it's Saturday the 11th of February, and this is episode 2306 of 301 Permanently Moved Online, a personal podcast 301 seconds in length, written, recorded, and edited by me at the JMO. It's already February, and I haven't even mentioned the new theme yet. I played it to Eve the evening I made it in January, and I said that I thought it made a statement. Yeah, she replied, an I smoke weed statement. Anyways, I know it's going to be a great episode every time I drop the themes.wav files into the editor. Stoner rock gets me hyped. It was the first music genre I truly fell in love with as a teenager. So we're six episodes into 2023, and I thought I'd do a little housekeeping. First of all, I'm super glad I committed to four 10-episode blocks for 2023. The year ahead is no longer one long road with 50 or so weekly stops along the way to the Christmas horizon. Instead, four sets of ten feels like trekking four smaller peaks rather than one big one. It's totally rearranged the mental effort and furniture required to make the show. Now, you all know me. I'm all about cultivating a regular creative practice, doing things week after week. But building breaks into the rhythm of creative production feels like a whole new world. Gordon, you were right about this in 2018, and about so many other things. For years, I've been talking here about wanting to try more experimental things with this show. It's what the 411 show format was supposed to be for. Unfortunately, I've never quite gotten around to executing. Making a 301 second long show has become my comfort zone. Doing something new or out of the ordinary inside of seven days is an idea that just takes up too much mental space. So I've never really been able to bring myself to do it. But four seasons a year suggest at least one episode of each season should be something more ambitious. Four shots at something new a year. Sounds good. Speaking of four things that happen every year, I'm about to take issue 5 of my zine, Start, Select, Reset, to the printers. It will be in the post, wending its way to paid subscribers' letterboxes by the end of February. This quarter's issue is called How Are Things? A series of short essays about my lifelong struggle with domestic entropy, labelling stuff, losing and looking after things, and how using a tool completes it. From the next issue, SSR zine will be moving to a new fixed format and layout. My reasoning being that this is an excuse to learn the Affinity design suite I bought on sale last month. So moving forward, my zine will still be handmade by me etc, but it will become a sort of mixed magazine and newsletter format. The physical design should help me to lean further into this physical publishing experiment of mine. So if you want the last out of format zine, ending this first year of experimentation, why not sign up today at thejmo.net slash support. Continuing with the printing theme, I've had an idea for something this year that I want to write and self-publish, a stapled A5 zine. I have 9 or 10 essays planned out already, which, when combined with the cadence of 4 seasons of 10 episodes, if you're doing the maths at home, means that a quarter of the shows I'll be making this year are accounted for already. Mentally, at least. I may or may not have already started this project. Besides the introduction of seasons, having this year-long content plan has drastically reduced the psychic overhead of making the show for this year at least. I feel rather clever right now, but ask me again during the summer. The reason for all this streamlining has been to make space and time for the other show, the new interview show that I'm making. I mentioned this in my show in December, but chapeau to everyone out there hitting publish on an interview format show week in, week out without fail. Organising and recording guests is an enormous amount of work. Honestly, if you don't feel the urge to become a paid subscriber of my show, consider becoming a paid supporter of someone else's. Five quid a month is less than one beer down my local pub, and in my opinion, makers of interview shows deserve a whole round. I'm thinking of dropping the first season of the new show all at once on its own feed. Maybe just the first half of it. I haven't decided yet. If anyone has any strong opinions about how to launch a new podcast in 2023, contact me via my blog. I will, of course, post the show's trailer and first episode to the permanently moved feed when they drop. I'm really excited about this new show, is exactly the show that I want to make, and more importantly, the show that I want to listen to. Hype. Anyways, the perceptive will not have failed to notice that I've mentioned several times throughout this episode that you can become a paid supporter of the show, and that if you do, you'll get zines. Reasons for mentioning this include inflation, hosting costs, cost of living, the increasing rentierism of credit card processors and intermediary platforms, internet costs, and heating bills. Everything is going up, but then again, happily, so are my download numbers. So whether you're new around here or have been around for a while and are in a position to do so, please consider becoming a paid supporter of 301. I'll be back with another essay show next week. 
Cheers.